Hello. Our project is about detecting the movement of an object with webcam. Our internal supervisor is Ms. K. Sushmaja, assistant professor. And my teammates are M. Neha and Y. Tejasri. Abstract. Various methods are used in means various methods are used in detecting the moment, but some are very inconvenient and they are for some limitations only. So we are implementing um, a new way of surveillance camera uh, that is web. Uh, using the web camera so we can detect and track the movement uh, without any cost efficient and we can omit the disadvantages from the existing system like absence of motion detection functionality and requires a lot of processing resources and archive space or consumption of space for storing the videos uh, are too high are omitted in this new proposed system. Introduction. The main introduction of uh, our project is to is that it tracks the pictures and converts it into frame. And the detect uh, to detect the motion, we first have to capture the image uh, for the particular area to be monitored. Uh, this is done by using the webcam, uh, completely provided sequence of images and continuously providing the sequence of images, uh, converting into the video. Uh, and it takes a frame per second, then it converts in, into the video. Um, it uh, checks the uh, difference between the particular um, current frame and the pre previous frame. If there is any differences or any movement is detected or highlighted. The objective the, in this project is focused on motion detection module where we perform research on techniques and methodologies to detect the motion and to develop module techniques that we prefer to use in this project. Ma main methodology of this project when the videos are captured, uh, when the frames are captured per frame per second, then the videos are um, converted into a uh, frame, th then the frames are converted into a video and the video undergoes the object detection. In the, uh, we use three algorithms like frame differencing, optical flow and background subtraction. In frame differencing, we, uh, the frame will convert into the color frame will be converted into the gray frame the gray frame uh, because it has only one intensity uh, one uh, so we can calculate the we can detect the movement uh, easily when compared to the rgb uh, it has three different intensities so it, uh, after converting it to the gray scale, then the gray scale uh, gray frame, then the gray frame is converted into the um, black and white frame, which is a thresh threshold frame, where we can find the object uh, pixel size. That is, when the pixel is less than thirty, then it is detect. Uh, it is in black, and when the pixel size is more than 30, it detects and it's shown in the white color. So when uh, the white color indicates the moving object um, and the optical flow, optic, in this optical flow, the uh, fra present, current frame and the previous frame differences are uh, going to be uh, shown so that um, the object movement is shown currently. And then background subtraction, uh, it is subtracting the foreground from the background. So it means the um, current stack frame is separated uh, from the current frame. Moving object is differed from the frame. And when completion of these uh, three algorithms or uh, when the detection of movement is done, then the object tracking is uh, done. Means it, um, 
it shows that a particular frame is uh, moving in the white or bla uh, black screens the remaining will be continued from by my teammate neha thank you coming to the existing system uh, already we have many existing system uh, which are developed on webcam detection motion detection but those are not as efficient and which are high power consuming high storage consumption and these are not for the household purposes and which are impractical for the household purposes and these uh, these have many disadvantages like uh, these are not for the commercial purposes and not uh, accessible for the common people and cctv cameras and these are very expensive and these kind of uh, drawbacks are uh, need to be overcome so we need to overcome by using our proposed system we, uh, we are proposing this system which is cost efficient and uh, comparing the frame differences and pictures it performs the motion detection and it takes the uh, personal computer camera which is used to capture the frames and the videos and it has the advantages like requires less memory and also it does the analysis automatically and we can also implement the alerting system in the coming coming projects or in the future using this and coming to the architecture uh, first the mo uh, we monitor or capture the video in the form in the form of frames which are uh, collected in a stack to to form as a video and then frame comparisons are done in frame comparison background differencing is done like uh, background subtraction or uh, gray frame scaling delta framing and then threshold here in background differencing background and the foreground are separated from each other to easily show the difference between foreground and background images and then uh, gray scale which is used to uh, decrease the intensities to explain the image or the frame easily and then uh, delta frame which is used to differentiate the intensities and then threshold here two different pixels are will be there and these pixel differences will be shown in two colors black and white if the uh, fixed some pixel value is greater than the uh, present pixel value then the picture will be shown in white then the white uh, then the white picture is known as move, uh, movement in the picture then the we can conclude it as uh, detection of motion and the rest will be continued by uh, our teammate tejashwini model of our project is opensiv opensiv is set as the open life open source computer vision library is the library for the program function mainly aimed at the real time computer vision opensiv is the huge open source library for the computer vision machine learning and image processing nowadays it plays a major role in the real time operation which are very important in today's system The algorithm of our project is background subtraction. It's a mainstream algorithm for the moving object detection in video surveillance system. It mainly detects the uh, difference between the foreground and the background of the pro detection process. The key, the key to background subtraction is to establish a reliable initial background. Background subtraction algorithm is widely used for real-time moving object detection in the video surveillance system the outcome of the project is outcome of our project is to detect the motion through a webcam in which higher accuracy than the previously implemented motion detection algorithms alert alert system may be implemented automatically when the motion is detected 
the conclusion of our project is although we have many motion detection algorithms previously implemented the current implementer is much efficient than the previous it just takes the importance of the images and detects the different considering it as the motion detections thank you